I've used a lot of camera brands over the years, including Yashica, Nikon, Sony, and even a little bit of Canon with this ADD camera. These aren't bad cameras, and they do still have their use for me. But it Hi everyone and welcome to Pal to Tech and a Fast Friday. Today we're going to take a break from going over camera settings and tutorials and instead let's talk about why I love Fujifilm. First off, Fujifilm is not sponsoring this video. They have no idea that I'm even making it. I am not a brand ambassador nor am I an official Fuji X photographer or whatever and as of the date of this video I don't have a single partnership or affiliation with Fujifilm in any way. So here are my five reasons for why I love using Fujifilm cameras. Number one is ergonomics. I still have a foot back in the old film days and I love the fact that you can have this old school top button dial manual functioning device, yet it contains a very powerful modern camera inside. It can be whatever you want it to be. You want fully automatic? No problem, just set it that way. Do you want to use all of the top dials and manual and party like it's 1965. I own a black X-T2, but it's the X-T3 silver and the silver X-T4. If I'm out shooting, people will stop and ask me how old my antique camera is. But little do they know it's what's inside the camera that's so incredible. An example of this is the X-T3. With this camera, Fuji took a huge leap forward with video capabilities. But in doing so, they did not compromise the ergonomics of the camera at all. I find that the top dials, the controls, and with some exceptions, the menus easy to use and to navigate. I realized this a few years ago when I took only Fujifilm cameras with me to shoot Dragon Con. I was actually in the event parade itself, shooting the action in real time, and you have just seconds to capture a moment and get the shot. And you cannot be farting around with complicated camera settings, menus, and so forth. Because Fujifilm enables me to customize so many buttons and has such great features like auto ISO setup, the camera just gets the hell out of my way and lets me in that zone for a moment. It lets me get the shot. What more can you ask for in the ergonomics of a camera? Second are the film simulations. My favorite is classic Chrome. I just love how this looks in Capture One. Even their standard Provia film sim is just a wonderful film simulation that can be used in so many different shooting scenarios. And these film simulations are best experienced in the JPEGs that are generated straight out of the camera, which leads me to number three, the straight out of camera JPEGs. I love the colors, the tonal range, and the contrast in the straight out of camera JPEGs. But no camera system is complete without lenses. And the 18 to 55 zoom lens, otherwise known as the kit lens, is the single best camera kit lens I've ever used. It's too good to be called a kit lens. No more calling it a kit lens. Now the Fujifilm prime lenses are more compact but pack some very serious optics and build quality. And of course, I am talking now about the legendary 16mm f1.4 prime. This lens doesn't just shoot art, it is a work of art. And I cannot forget my favorite zoom lens of all time for Fujifilm, the 50 to 140. This lens excels at everything you throw at it. Portraits, nature shots. It gives you just such beautiful background and depth of field. I don't care if this thing is about the size and weight of a Winnebago, it's still coming with me in my camera bag. Another great trend that I am loving is that third-party manufacturers are now making compatible lenses for the Fujifilm's X-mount system. And you can get some wonderful third-party glass now for less money and still great build quality. Lastly, my fifth favorite reason as to why I love Fujifilm cameras is the 
the company themselves. Fuji took a very bold step in not following the others going the full frame route. Instead, they seem to be headed down two parallel tracks. The first is that they continue to embrace the APS-C sensor format in all of their current cameras and new lens products. And the second track that they are moving forward and innovating down is in the medium sensor format market. The size, price, and features in their GFX line of medium format sensor cameras would have been unthinkable a few years ago. When I was putting together this video, I was trying to sum up what it is exactly in one thought why I love Fujifilm cameras so much. Yes, there's always a bunch of different reasons and many people, including probably most of you, have your own. However, what do you get when you add all of them up? What is the sum total about Fujifilm that makes these cameras so wonderful and special? It's quite simple, really. These cameras are a lot of fun to use. And it's because it's fun. It's because I truly enjoy shooting with these cameras that I just want to do it more and more. And that's what I love about Fujifilm. Well, that wraps it up for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I will be signing off now and I will see all of you in another video next week. Take care.